Hey, much has been talked about the recent suicide of the actor Sushant Singh Rajput. Experts say that he could have been a victim of depression. His friends said that he should have reached out and spoken about his problems. The friends, after all, focus quickly shifted to how depression kills and how nepotism is plaguing Bollywood and how we must be sensitive to each other. But here's another perspective. Are we listening enough? As a generation, we are so centered on ourselves that when a friend wants to open up and tell us something, we immediately relate to something similar that has happened to us. We tend to complete their sentence or interrupt and bring the focus back onto our story. Did you know that we listen to only 25% of the time? Instead of listening, we focus mostly on responding. Listening is key to effective communication. I'm sure you know that. Intentional listening is exactly what it says, listening with an intent. It means giving 100% attention to the person speaking, without fidgeting or letting your mind wander, without interrupting or completing their sentences, without assumptions or judgments. Most of the successful people I have known are the ones who do more listening than talking, said Bernard M. Baruch. So in this video, I'm going to share with you five ways to master a top skill that can get you success at work, and happiness in life. Let's get started. Listening to others while you're doing some work is called passive listening and that's what most of us do. Listening to respond is called as evaluative listening. That's what we do at work with our customers, our bosses and peers. It's part of active listening, but we follow it almost always with a response. Listening with a purpose to understand the person you're speaking to and not just hear his words is intentional listening. And this is where most of us fail. Intentional listening is an advanced skill and it requires practice. Here are five ways you can master this. Number one, make a commitment to give 100% attention to whosoever speaking to you. Stop what you're doing. Ensure nobody is disturbing you. Remember, always start with an intention. Two, put others first. Get into a giving mindset to just be there and listen. Not arguing, not defending, not advising and definitely not taking things personally, even if the words hurt you. For just this moment, focus completely on what the other person is saying and feeling. Remember, it's not always about you. Three, cultivate silence because it is considered to be the language of love and of being truly present for the other person. Sometimes silent is more eloquent and communicative than words. It's a way of being present and receiving with openness and sensitivity. Number four, master rephrasing. Because sometimes what is being said and what is perceived can be different. When you rephrase, your understanding on the subject deepens. It also indicates to the other person that you're listening attentively and that builds confidence and trust in that relationship. Number five, be mindful of your response. How can I help is way better than here's what you should do, right? So be cautious with the kind of words that you use to respond. Your response must support and uplift the person's emotions, not take it downwards. So there you are. Those are the five ways that you can master intentional listening. If you wish to master effective communication and make an impact in your professional as well as personal life, head to my website and register for the e-learning course specially crafted for you. All details are given in the description below. So how do you show someone that you're listening? Did anyone ever demonstrate that they understand you? Do share your thoughts in the comment section below or you may reach out to me in any of the social media platforms that I'm in. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video and you find it resourceful, do hit a like button and share it with your friends and I'll see you next week. Until then, take good care of yourself.